spread out on the dash. Running man, how I get to the cash? Hey, this polo's Gucci, no Lauren. Uh, she said I'm too fly, be touring. Hey, Ritz looking like I poured it. Flat, James Harden, how I'm scoring. Uh, Riding the two when I head to the bush. Eyes low, I be off for the cuz. VB's on, all I feel is the lugs. Pockets full, shit look like a bug. Hello, everybody, and how you be as our Western Illinois Leathernecks at 4-4 four and four come into the state of Texas to take on the Longhorns, who are 8-1. and one. They are also a ranked team at this point. So this could be a really tough game. It should be a really tough game. The last couple ranked teams, we've hung with them in the first half and then fizzled out. But it'll be Rainmaker, Gonzalez, McKnight, Bigby, and Fundamentals as usual. We got to watch out for a taco here and a few of his merry mates. As here is McKnight going to get it to Big B. Fundamentals going to get the first points of the ball game, 2 0. Then Hammond from the outside going to miss, but Santos going to get it inside. And then the foul, he would not make the free throws. There's a shot for a taco on the layup. That'll give Texas a 4 2 lead until Gonzalez drains the long two. It's a 4-4 ball game. Rainmaker with the miss. Going to be corralled by Bigby and put back in. 6-4 game. Then there's a taco. And again, he always a tacos the basket as he makes that one. Now 8-6 in favor of Texas. Now make it 10-6 with a taco attacking again. And then there's the outside two-pointer, but that would be tipped in. 12 to 6, they're doubling us up now. And then the outside shot for Casey with from three. Then Aries McKnight would make a three of his own. And we've got a six point game. Now back again and another inside drive for Attacko. Then inside, and that's going to be points right there. An assist by Attacko. And it's going to be a 19 9 game until we can get Horshack Hobblesnack to get an assist. Then Hobblesnack again with the bat with the with the rock, gonna get some points. It'll be 19-13. Then from the outside, big shot for Hammond. It's a 22-13 ball game. Inside Burnett with the points. Now Hobblesnack again, and Hobblesnack with four points. There's Snowden from the outs from long two range for some points. Fundamentals gets in there in the paint. And then it's Tony Medicine going to rattle one in for the tie ball game at 24. Now out there, Hammond, that's a two. He would make it, though. And then Tony Medicine would tie it up at 26. Now a 28-26 game until Tony Medicine gets hot again with another three. And then Gonzalez with a three. And we've got ourselves a four-point lead here. Coming down to it, that's going to be a nice three for Texas. They are one back, and Rainmaker would miss the buzzer-beating first-half shot. It'll be Illinois, Western Illinois on top, 32-31 at the half. As you can see, we are shooting better than them, and we're doing better from three-point, but not too much better. Aries McKnight inside to start the second half. Gets us a 34-33 lead. And then inside is Gonzalez. You don't see that too often. But then the outside shot for them, it'll be 36-35. Fundamentals with the little hook, the baby hook. And then Riley all alone in the post. Now Gonzalez, deep two range. He makes it. It's a three-point lead for our Leathernecks. Gonzalez again outside, a three-pointer. It's a six-point lead. Gonzalez from deep two. He's got 14 so far. There, nice drive for Texas on the assist from Ataco. There's Gonzalez deep two range, 49-39. And then Hobblesnack, and then a nice shot for Aries McKnight. And we've got a 14-point lead before you know it. However, they would get in there and get some points in the post. And then Fundamentals with a dunk. And then Fundamentals again inside, just killing Riley fundamentals winning that battle and it's been a big part of this game there's Gonzalez from the outside Aries McKnight would miss Big B gonna pick it up and put it in it's an 11 point lead McKnight from outside and wow daggers right there from Gonzalez and McKnight and that would end it we will upset the Texas Longhorns by 19 points 70 to 51 Derek Gonzalez with 22 points 
9 of 15 from the floor, 4 of 5 from 3. A rebound and 3 assists, so Derek Gonzalez, another big game for him. But a lot of guys were part of this win. Attacko with 8 points, he slowed down in the second half. Barely saw him. Hammond didn't do that well, only 9 points for him. It was Casey and Riley getting it done offensively for the Longhorns, both 14 points apiece. But if you look at our team, which... Come on, we want to look at our team. Please. There it is. Rainmaker, no points on the day. He was really not on the floor as much as usual. Gonzalez, 22 points, 10 for McKnight, 10 for Fundamentals, and then a lot of bench points from a lot of different guys. Now we're at home against NJIT. This will be one of the few simulated games of the season since you guys did vote to have more games at less half times. So we do win this one, 55-43. Taking a look at their team, an 11-pointer guy I see there. But let's look at our boys, and Gonzalez with 9 points, McKnight with 7, but it would be 18 points from Tyrell Rainmaker that would make the difference in this one. And now another simulated game right here as we're trying to get to conference play. And let's see how we will do against, I believe that is Colgate, um, yep, it is Colgate, and we do take the win there. It's an eight-point win for us as we take a look at what our guys have done. Fundamentals, four points, five boards, eight points for Big B, a, eight points for Gonzalez, so a good spread on the scoreboard. We're now seven and four, and we'll be taking on the fake team that doesn't exist. We're only going to play them once in conference play. We will sim the other one. It is UL Calcutta. Thank you guys for watching this. Don't forget to drop a like on the video. Sub if you're new. <laughs>